Hello, my name is Stephen Parton and I'm an application engineer here at Carolina Motion Controls. Today we will be walking through setting up motor information such as current and feedback type, then running an auto tune using Unidrive MConnect commissioning software. So let's get started. All right, so just to show that uh, we have starting with a new drive, we can see that we have no uh, information set up in the drive as of right now for compared to defaults. So the first thing you want to do uh, before you perform an auto tune is make sure we set up the motor data. Uh, in our case, we, we can select um, a motor that we're using as long as it is an Emerson motor. So we're looking for an 067 EDA 300, so 067 EDA 300 right there. We can say OK. Um, if we wanted to change this, say to 1.6 amps for whatever reason, um, if, we, if you were just setting this up, there is a way to save the custom, save a custom motor. Uh, but we'll leave this at default as of right now. So once we get our motor information set up, we will want to uh, select the Save to Project button. Um, and then we'll come down here to our motor feedback setup. And we will change this to an INDAT encoder. Um, we do have the motor feedback devices on P1 of the drive, uh, P2 we are using an AB encoder, um, that's 1024, uh, we won't be using that for this demonstration, but just to uh, show how to set that up. Alright, so now we will send save this to the project, and then we can come down here to our auto-tune. Uh, we will want to download the information that we just changed to our drive. All right, so now that we've downloaded that, we can then click the online button. And here's our auto-tune setup page. We will want, we can, uh, we can first do a stationary, so the motor will not rotate uh, in this one. Uh, anytime you do an auto-tune, you will want to make sure that the motor is uncoupled from any loads. There's no shaft, uh, only the shaft is showing. Um, we'll, we'll be auto-tuning motor, motor one. So we can hit the next button here. All right, so here's some preconditions that need to be met before an auto-tune is done. So if we had the drive enabled, you can see here, it will not let us go to the next screen until the drive is disabled. All right, so we're going to hit the next button again. So to start the auto-tune, please enable the drive by activating uh, the safe torque off. So we'll give the enable signal to the drive. So now we can see the auto tune is uh, successful here. Hit next. Here we can see a list of uh, parameters that will be changed, and we can uh, save these parameters in the drive. Now our auto tune is complete, and we're ready to go. Uh, if we want to, we can hit the back button. Uh, we can select to do a rotating auto tune. Um, direction do you want it to go uh, it doesn't matter I and mean, then we can go to uh, we will make sure we want to do the motor one select the next button again uh, same con pre conditions need to be met I we'll have to have the drive disabled select the next button and now it wants you to enable the drive once enabled we can see our auto tune is in progress Now our auto tune is complete. Remove the enable signals. Select the next button to see the results. 
and here's a list of parameters that we can see it has changed and we can select the save parameters in drive save them to the drive now I always like to do an upload to make sure that we get those parameters saved into our project thank you and I hope you enjoyed